Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. <laughs> If you're a Steven Universe fan who's active on social media, then odds are, in the last few weeks, you've gotten flashbanged by some Whoa, what, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? What's that flashbang we got? Hey, why, why, why are I blind? I'm blind from this. Released by someone else. Someone who used to work on the show. Oh, and according cool. to this alumni, apparently, Greg and Pearl were planned to become a pairing very early on in the show. Hold on. Sorry that I put it at 20... Five second, but you tell me Pearl and Gray were actually planned to start Steven Universe? So it wasn't Rose and Gray that's supposed to start. Well, Pearl and Gray? Hmm. This, this, they might, they might make some, some people argue like, no, Rose, no, no, Pearl. It might argue, but I don't you know. Viral on uh, Twitter and TikTok, it's only a matter of time before people pass all of this off as objectively canon. And also, just to reiterate, yeah. and this by the time we should be sorry, sure, look in the web and try to figure out what's going on. Where it even came from, I want to provide some much needed context. <laughs> y'all cool with your girl making more money than y'all? Ladies, y'all cool with making more money? Drop another diss track, and my life is yours! So today, I'm throwing my hat into the ring and breaking all of this down. How did these sketches get out into the wild? And were they uh. really planning to make Pearl and Greg an item? Let's talk about it. Oh. Yeah, like, I wanna know, were they planning to make Pearl Steven Mom? Because... What what came on through now? Rose in in the plan. So you telling me they were trying to plan to make Steve Pearl Stephen Mom the whole time? <laughs> okay, Pearl should probably be Stephen Mom or Rose. Maybe, 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 maybe. Also, if you're feeling a stroll down memory lane, be sure to check out Roundtable Rewind, a new channel that has a bunch of Roundtable videos old and new, re-edited into theme compilations. We got three out on Gravity Falls, Steven Universe, and Cartoon News that you can check out right now with more on the way. Thank you so much for your continued support. Now let's dive in. All right, so let's talk about the source of these sketches. A lot of people are assuming that they came from Rebecca Sugar because they've been sharing a lot of sketches and concept art on TikTok. And those videos have given us some pretty wild stuff. But in reality, these recent sketches have actually come from former storyboarder, who shared the drawings over on his Patreon a while ago. And now they're all over the internet! Oops! Oh yeah! Pearl was supposed to end up with Greg. These were drawn by Rebecca early on in the show when that was still planned. Notice how there's zero indication Sugar signed off on these being posted. I've seen Wait. people question the legitimacy of these sketches because of this, and yeah, technically, there's no definitive proof that Sugar drew this. And I doubt she'll ever acknowledge these sketches in any capacity. But why would someone share their former boss's private art behind a paywall without permission? Money. The answer is money. The economy sucks. Everyone's trying to get by. She the animation industry you. especially is in a rough patch right now. A lot of artists are out of work and need to pay the bills, so everyone's finding different ways to keep themselves afloat, such as Patreon and selling art related to the projects they've worked on, which is what this artist has been doing. Makes complete sense to me. Get your bag. But it does raise an eyebrow that some of Rebecca's art has been thrown into the mix, as if fans wouldn't be content with just owning a piece of art related to the show they like from an artist who worked on it. No, we gotta throw the creator's name in to sweeten the deal. Maybe Sugar's cool fit and doesn't care, but that just feels like a big maybe given the content. When we have private sketches making their way online, with no indication that the original artist signed off on it, I can only think that maybe, just maybe, there's something going on there. And the artist in question is just opting to say fuck it and net some Patreon subs from art that just sit on a hard drive otherwise. It's wild to me if that is the case, because imagine being in Sugar's shoes, opening TikTok one day, only to see your old dude 
photos of Pearl and Greg sucking face and going, uh, I definitely didn't post that. How'd that get in there? I don't know. Steven Universe is the reason I get to talk about cartoons for a living instead of working a nine to five. Hey, so yo. maybe I don't have any room to talk. Uh -uh. It can just be you read as a test spiteful, even if hard times have fallen on the industry. And the fact that a lot of people are assuming Rebecca herself released this doesn't really help at all. But there you go. Context. Now, what I will say about the sketches is that they do feel like a genuine exploration of these characters more than something drawn for gratification. Like, it really is 90% mm -hmm. dialogue, 10% NSFW. She didn't even draw Greg's little universe. Just putting that out there, because a lot of the reactions to this will lead you to believe that this was just Pearl and Greg going at it, when it's a lot more tame than that. It's just a messy pairing. As for the two originally getting together in the show itself, it honestly tracks to me. We could assume that plans changed after Mr. Greg, since after that episode, it feels like the two barely interact, despite finally being on good terms with each other. And in hindsight, you can see how the two could have been a slow burn relationship built up over the course of the show. In season one, they're civil, but you can tell that Pearl is a little on edge around him. And once you find out that Pearl was in love with Rose Quartz, everything clicks into place. Pearl carries a lot of scars and has this feeling of inadequacy that Greg's presence amplifies. Because- Gray Pearl in his eye, life. Hmm. Multiply day, divide by day, some trap by there. Mm. Then you cross that out, cross this out. Then you go in. Ultimately, he's the one who rolls it up with. Then season two rolls around and gives you a glimpse of their dynamic in the past and how the two were fighting over Rose's attention. Although, let's be real, it was a bit of a one-sided fight. It's clear that there's still unfinished business, but neither of them want to open that can of worms. At least until season three, where Steven yeah. finally forces them to confront the past together. The song Both of You feels as if it was written in a way where both Steven and Rose are pleading for Greg and Pearl to make amends. You both love me and I love both of you are words that fit Rose to a T. I always read the this episode as the two finally heading in the direction of a healthy platonic relationship. But what of course, the there were always your guy? people who saw it as something more. That these two could move on and heal together as a romantic pairing. But I thought, nah, there's no way Sugar would put them in a relationship nah, when it yeah, has it, that it, messy nah, foundation. It, right? In your way, well, in I your guess way. I'm a fucking idiot. Now season four could have progressed this relationship even it, it is skeptical. Cause like Pearl worry will worry more about the skeptical of Blue Diamond and skeptical of what Blue Diamond could have done, right? But she wasn't too skeptical of the kidnap that Blue Diamond did. She wasn't. Like if you look back at it, Gray got kidnapped and Pearl wasn't like. And we we gotta do something about about the like Gray kidnap like what boy do. A little odd how she has the least to do out of the crystal gems in this mission. Kind of just standing around while Steven infiltrates the zoo, Amethyst has the Famethyst, and Garnet defused so Ruby and Sapphire can bullshit their way around Holly Blue Agate. Yeah, I'm just yeah, you're wrong. Waiting. But maybe when Boy, we originally had, got um, the idea of Greg being abducted, Steven, Pearl had a bigger role and was much but, more involved in it. saving Greg. Yeah, the story reaches its climax. The zoo was foreshadowed in season two, so clearly Sugar also had that plan for a while. I'm just saying. Wait, so the hand wasn't here to snatch up humans for a human zoo? So why didn't they go through the relationship? Well, according yeah, to the storyboarder who posted these sketches, another storyboarder objected to the relationship and pushed for Pearl to become a more lesbian coded character. How much of that is true? Pearl lesbian? Hold 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 the phone. Hold the phone. Pearl like girls? I should have uh, known that when I watched that uh, episode. I should have known when, right when Pearl put in that leather jacket and the and the light leather pants and the shoes you go match with everything. I should have known when she going. I should I should have known. Like like my mind my mind my mind wasn't thinking right.
girl, who proceeded to never have a single line of dialogue or even appear in an episode outside this crowd shot right here. But it reaffirmed that yeah, Pearl yeah, unabashedly right. loves women. Sure, a single in Pearl one showed us that Pearl collecting those members like uh, Pokemon episode. cards. And Bismuth Casual not only made it clear that Bismuth has a thing for Pearl, and it might be mutual, but also that... How the world? Me, 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 say that for for a love of God. How in the hell is Pearl, Sean Quentin, and Eric again butt down and get beat down and get all your chill? And I can get nothing. You, you seen? You seen? I got, I got going. Go, hey, yeah, like I got go gay. I got go gay so so I can go go and get the um female. You, you tell me, I gotta go and feminine, like, to get the female? Like, but, 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 I, I'm, I'm a straight dude, and I get nothing, I get nothing, I get nothing, heartbreaking, like, come on. Pearl has a squad of middle-aged women who adore the hell out of her. Throughout all of this, we didn't really have any moments where she expressed interest in men. So I don't blame anyone for believing that Pearl is a lesbian. Not to mention, it felt like the movie was almost dunking on the idea of Greg yeah, Perry when she was the whole episode, in this whole episode, Greg. you wouldn't even be uh, uh, being uh, super uh, dependent on him. Ding, and basically ding, surrender like, her like, personality. Like the whole situation you were thinking Pearl was able to explain her own independence. But from a meta standpoint, at that it point. also felt like the movie was poking fun at the ship. Which, with this context, it's so wild. You know the crew who had been there since day one was grinning yeah. from ear to ear watching that pitch. But with all this said, I do want to bring up something that's been making the rounds online lately. What? In light of the Pearl and Greg sketches hitting the Phantom Towers. And it's this old interview with Rebecca from when Future was ending, where they talk about biphobia in the fandom. And I won't lie to you guys, what, what do you mean I, by that? like a lot of people, think she was probably talking about how people treat Pearl. And also, biphobia in the Steven fan base was very extreme. Really? Yeah, because they were people were very excited to have these characters that were clearly queer, but then the idea of like someone doing a fan comic about them with a man, they'd be like, never, never, this character could never ever be with a man. And it's like a character that's directly based on me and my life. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. Like it was just it was just so bizarre. And the second I came out as bi. There was this flood of, I knew it. I'm like, where were you? Where were you? Where were you before? Nobody, nobody. <laughs> Earlier this year, we also had that Streamly poster signing, and Sugar talked about how they appreciate when people head canon Steven Universe characters as bi, and how they view Greg as fluid. I put a lot of myself into so many of these characters, and I'm bi, so I feel like that is a, an absolutely fair reading of Greg. Um, Canonically, we never really specify in the show itself. Um, I always thought of him and, and consider him to be fluid, um, but I think it's it's, pretty, it's a totally fair reading, regardless. And, and I really, honestly, personally, as a person who's bi, I appreciate anyone and everyone headcanning anyone as bi because it's like, um, you know, it's actually a little bit rare. Uh, so thank you. Or at least it was <laughs> when I was coming up in, in fandom. While I'm usually the lore and theory guy, I do think it's worth noting that Sugar points out mm -hmm. how these sexualities aren't canonically spelt out in the show, and headcanons are, at the end of the day, your own interpretations of the story. Interpretations that no one can take from you. I don't think anyone who views Pearl as a lesbian should stop just because of non-canon sketches revolving around something they didn't even go through with. I think that interpretation should be respected. No one should be weaponizing drawings to say, well, actually, she definitely swings this way instead of that way. But at the same time, if someone does view Pearl as bi, like Sugar seems to, that should obviously also be respected. No one's objectively right or wrong here. At the end of the day, the show's over. Yes, we've been advocating for a revival. But until the day new Steven Universe content hits our screens, anything that wasn't spelt out in the show is simply left up to our imagination. We could get Steven Universe future future. And it turns out Pearl and Greg have been dating ever since Steven moved out. Yeah, they lie. You might get it. Might get it. You might get the future, future Steven Unifer. Might get the like. Might get the grown up Steven Unifer. Like after you leave, we see. Might get another first a Steven Unifer to to where he grow up and spend like his adult future life. Might get that. Might get him. 
might not. You got two options. Maybe, maybe show sure, like it balances out two way, two different words. You, you might not even know. This is wrong, and there's no definitively right answer. I definitely don't think any art should shatter your perception of these characters because one more time, we were probably never even meant to see these sketches, and it was said when they were posted that this idea was ultimately abandoned. But as always, these are just my thoughts, and, and I'd love to hear yours. <laughs>